Your most critical rule for combine like terms is don't combine unlike terms. Right? This hopefully will get to a place where it feels pretty intuitive. If you had one apple and one banana, you would not say to me, Chelsea, I have one a banana. Because that's not a thing, right? That's not how this works. So, a plus b just equals a plus b. It doesn't simplify. We only combine things that are like terms. Keep in mind, combine like terms is just a fancy way of saying addition, so don't freak out. Now, on the flip side, multiplying monomials, which is a fancy way of saying just multiplication, when we do multiplication, we can actually multiply anything in the world by anything else in the entire world. It doesn't matter if they're like, unlike, super weird looking, super complicated, you're totally afraid of it, don't panic. It doesn't matter what it looks like, you can definitely multiply it. Now, sometimes it won't simplify super nicely, but you can always multiply things, right? So there's no such thing as, oh, I can't multiply it, yeah? So, a times b, this simplifies to a, B. This isn't really a simplification, it's more of a notation change. If you haven't seen this notation before, this notation is one of our simplifying tactics that we have, right? Um, and it just means A times B. That's what that means. A, B, if you write two letters next to each other, it means that first letter times that second letter. Okay, cool. Let's do some practice. Let's say we see something like A plus A squared. These two terms are not the same. In order to have like terms, the base and the exponents both have to be the same. Now, in this case, the bases are both the same. You have a and a, right? But the exponents are not the same. This exponent is a 2, and this exponent, as you know, if I were to ask you, how do you write a in exponent form, you would say to me, Chelsea, you write a to the power of 1. A to the power of 1 is not the same as a to the power of 2. Those exponents are different. So, what do we do? Well, we don't do, essentially. Okay? We don't combine them. We just rewrite it. a plus a squared is, doesn't, doesn't simplify because it's addition. But what happens when this turns into multiplication? Okay. When it turns into multiplication, you know first and foremost that you can multiply anything in the world times anything in the world. So, a times a squared, we can do this. What are we going to do? Well, we do happen to notice that a squared is the same thing as saying a times a, right? a squared, that means you write down two a's, put a multiplication in between. So we could actually write this as a times a times a, like this. a times, and then a squared is a times a. And this, we know, you know at this point, simplifies to a cubed, right? So that's very, very different, right? When we're adding, you get a plus a squared. When you're multiplying, you've got a cubed. Totally different thing. Now, let's check out one final idea over here. What happens if we have a plus 2a? Keep in mind, we have to pay attention to the notation here, right? This 2 is up front and it's big. That means it is a coefficient. Now, if you remember from your addition, this 2a is the same thing as saying a plus a. Not a times a, a plus a. And so you could write this as a plus a plus a. And it would look like this. And you know that you can simplify this because a plus a plus a, you've got three a's, and we know exactly how to write that. We write it like this. Not a to the three, that's multiplication, but three a because it is addition. Okay? So, those are, you know, a wide variety of things you're going to see. Practice is going to make perfect here, so let's go do it.